Consumers Union has a 75-year history dealing with, with auto safety, safety of all kinds, but in particular auto safety, including seat belts, rollovers, blind spots, and so forth. Uh, and distracted driving has now made it onto that priority list of a, of a crucial auto safety issue uh, that needs attention because too many lives are being lost. We just heard some statistics. We'll hear them again from Secretary LaHood uh, about how many lives are lost, how many people are injured each year um, because somebody has taken their eyes off the road uh, ever so briefly uh, to fool around with their Blackberry, their I, I, uh, iPhone, or whatever it may be. We're also honored to be joined today with several people who are in the front lines on this issue, leaders in the field, innovators, law enforcement officials, activists, uh, educators, lawmakers, and others who are committed to dealing with this deadly epidemic, especially among our nation's youth. In just a moment, you'll hear from U.S. Representative Nita Lowy, one of the really national and local heroes on, on consumer issues uh, and a hero for us here at Consumers Union. She'll introduce uh, Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, and it's his leadership that among uh, more, than any, more than anyone has really helped put distracted driving in the national spotlight with compelling public service campaigns, and you'll hear more about that today. Uh, we're also pleased, Consumers Union and Consumer Reports, to be partnering with you, Mr. Secretary, and with the Transportation uh, Department. Um, among other things, we have this uh, jointly produced brochure, which is being launched today. Um, mil uh, uh, hundreds of thousands uh, uh, of copies of this will go out uh, in a variety of ways, both the hard copy of it and then on the various websites, the DOT website, our website, and, and others. Um, I want to say, by the way, where's uh, Rick Palm and Liza Barth? They really, they produce this. Where is, there's Liza and where's, where's Rick? Mr. Secretary, you should know that they're the ones who, uh, who, who, who did the uh, editorial work on the brochure. And we're also going to distribute it through the National School Safety Coalition, which is Consumers Union has uh, helped to start in, in, um, in partnership with the PTA, the National School Board Association, and others to get the brochure and the information in whatever way we can into the hands of, uh, uh, hopefully, of, of, of every caregiver, as many as we can. You'll also hear from J.C. Good, whose life was forever altered because of a distracted driver. And uh, J.C.'s become a really inspirational advocate, and we're looking forward to, to hearing from you on this. And also from Donato Vaccara, who's Associate Director of Survey Research here at Consumers Union. He oversaw a recent survey, and we'll, we'll present those results. Um, for me, one of the most heartening statistics of that, of that oh, survey is that two-thirds of those who had stopped uh, distracted driving, fooling around with text messages or, or, or phones, uh, uh, phone calls, did so because of the public education that, that warned them of the dangers that, um, that uh, it's been too easy to take for granted. So that's been important as well. You know, I once heard, uh, heard the comment from someone that, uh, about driving slowly and carefully on the road, I'd rather take a second out of my life than lose my life in a second. And that's really what, what, what this is here. It's, uh, we need more people, especially teens, especially, uh, to have that mantra and to teach them if they absolutely must communicate in some fashion while they're driving uh, with a mobile device to pull over and do it safely from the side of the road. Their life uh, is worth those extra seconds. Uh, Jim, thank you to you and your team. Uh, I had a chance to meet with uh, uh, the team here at uh, Consumers Union and uh, I thank them for their partnership and I thank them for their dedication uh, to safety. Uh, at the Department of Transportation uh, we've been on a rampage against distracted driving for nearly two years. Distracted driving has become a deadly epidemic taking thousands of lives every year. And behind the statistics are real families devastated by terrible tragedies. So I'm delighted to join this morning to launch our partnership with Consumer Reports, one of America's most trusted champions of consumer safety and to unveil several new weapons in our fight against distracted driving. First, we created a free guide for parents and educators called Distracted Driving Shatters Lives and this will be distributed uh, around the country, it recommends six steps that parents and educators can take to keep our young people safe behind the wheel. Let me just say parenthetically, I have four grown children and I dreaded the day when they turned 16. They're all uh, now uh, mature adults uh, raising their families, but uh, 
I dreaded the day they turned 16. Uh, one of the reasons we want to focus on teenagers is because we know that teenagers think they're invincible. I've raised four children. I know this. It's not made up. They think nothing's going to happen to them. And every teenager in America either owns a cell phone or a texting device, and they think they can use them anytime, any place, anywhere, including when they're behind the wheel. You simply cannot use a cell phone or texting device while you're driving and be safe. And so my advice has been that when you get in the car, buckle up, which 85% of the people do now, is a thank, thanks to Click It or Ticket, and also put that cell phone or texting device in the glove compartment. There is no message. There is no text message or cell phone call that cannot wait till you get to your destination. We're also working with the National uh, School Safety Coalition to distribute uh, this brochure at schools uh, and uh, with volunteer groups around the country. Second, starting today, DOT and Consumer Reports will send a public service announcement to television stations nationwide and for broadcast and retail stores like Walmart. Through this campaign, we'll reach as many as 100 people in every community in America. Excuse me, we will reach as many as 100 million people in every community in America. And we're sending a simple message. The safest way to get from one place to another is to hang up and drive. No call or message is so important that it can't wait until you reach your destination. Uh, now we'd like to play that, uh, that message for all of you to see. Put Puddles on the line. Yes, I know he's a dog. Puddles, you're going outside with Jennifer to do your business, right by your favorite bush, the green one. Brittany, Brittany, time travel is possible. It's totally possible. Yeah, and what about the space-time continuum? The fabric of time is interwoven. Some people choose unlimited calling. Others choose unlimited texting. But there's one thing not included in any calling plan. The common sense not to talk or text while you drive. We have a special presentation. One thing we've learned during the last two years is that the best way to change minds and actions is by putting a face on the crisis. By giving distracted driving victims the opportunity to tell their stories. This is the rationale behind our Faces of Distracted Driving video series, which you can see at distraction.gov, which is on our website. Since we launched the series in November, viewers have watched the, the loved ones of distracted driving victims tell their own stories tens, tens of thousands of times. Look, look at, we, we know what the statistics are, 5,500 killed, 450,000 injured. Behind, the, behind every one of those statistics is a story, a heartbreaking story. And I'm pleased to share the latest installment, which features Miss South Dakota, uh, Lauren Valacourt, who lost her brother two years ago in May. She tells her story far more powerfully than I can. So with that, I give you Lauren. Whenever my brother was little, you could always find him playing in the dirt. He loved birds and plants and anything that was living <laughs> or growing. He really taught me that Everything in life, no matter how small it is, is beautiful. It's very sweet. He was my best friend. My brother had just gotten done with his junior year in college, and he was getting this internship that he never thought that he would ever be able to get. Another intern and him were driving out to count some birds in the field. He was so distracted that he pulled out in front of a semi. The driver was killed on the scene and my brother was taken to the Sioux Falls Hospital. And they got the CAT scan results back. 
He said that his brain injuries were catastrophic. My brother was so full of life and he always had the reddest cheeks, no matter what, even if he was cold or even if he was warm, it didn't matter. And his cheeks were pale. And it just, I didn't recognize anything about him. <laughs> and I held my 21 year old brother's hand while he died. Just because someone made one stupid mistake. I'm an only child now. <laughs> Nothing is worth that. No distraction is worth that. Before this happened to my family, to my brother, I never knew how big of an issue it was. And that I feel like that's the case with most people as they don't realize how big of a problem this is until it happens to them or it happens to someone they know. My brother's accident was 100% preventable. It was my job to be his voice since he couldn't do it himself. No matter who you are, if you are young, if you're old, if the person of your vehicle is texting and driving or doing something they're not supposed to be doing, speak up. Tell them how concerned you are, not only about your safety, but also theirs. Distracted driving kills. Safe driving starts with you. Lauren's with us today. Lauren, please stand up and be recognized. Please recognize Lauren. Uh, Lauren, Lauren competed in the Miss America contest and uh, she used as distracted driving as uh, one of the issues that uh, she used as her signature uh, program and uh, we're going to find a place for her at DOT this summer. She's going to come and work as an intern uh, and uh, hopefully uh, continue her work on distracted driving before she goes back and finishes her senior year at uh, South Dakota State University. <laughs> Lauren, thank you for telling your story and thank you for being here today.